I may not have a technical scientific background, but I have one thing that the scientists don't have, which is I know my backyard. So conventional science happens outside of public view. So it's kind of in this black box almost, or up in the ivory tower. And what's exciting about citizen science is that it brings it out into the open. We, as, as sort of an environmental community, are engaging with the physical world every day, and you need tools to do that. We needed to democratize that technology. We needed to make it lightweight. We needed to make it low cost. We needed to make it open source so that we could put that technology in the hands of everyday people so they could go out and make those measurements where they live and where they breathe. When you first hear about an environmental organization, you mostly hear about uh, planting trees, gardens, things like that. You don't really uh, think about things that are really going to affect you. They'd wear the air beam or they'd hold it in their hand making sure not to cover the intake or the exhaust, and just stand here. We look at the world with forensic eyes and then rebuild what you can't see. So the approach that um, we're really centered on puts humans and real issues at the center of the work. And I think that's the really at the, the core of what open source is, is the social value that underlies all of it. It really refers to sort of the rights and responsibilities that anyone on the planet has to participate in making new discoveries.